man. I want to be your friend. Too loud. I forgot about the cable.
and uh, uh, Pamela, oh wow, uh, Pamela Monger Rickman. No. <laughs> Is that, if anyone's a fan of hers on Facebook, you're welcome to her drinks. <laughs> Uh, Spencer Weissner, or Weissner, you know? Jeez. This is sad. <laughs> Valley Haggard, oh yes, she told me she couldn't come. That's two Liz Bissettes, that didn't count. Uh, Era Boone, no? Jeez. Excuse me. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> uh, Nathan Malbury, Malbury. Uh, first one to raise your hand gets the third free shot. <laughs> Am I right? You were the first one. Someone over there. I don't have my glasses on. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so the three of you. Um, uh, Christy Schravel, right? Yeah. And and who other? Who else? Nathan. Go ahead. Julia, right? You all ready? Uh, so, order some shots. <laughs> and in case you're not familiar with my music and think I'm off on guard on purpose, that means I messed up. What about starting the first song the wrong key? Oh no, that doesn't count. It was mic check, so you know, don't drink in the play. All right, my name is Herschel Stratego. I am on Facebook. And I usually say I'll be out in five minutes, but I'll be out for like five minutes. <laughs>
say that. But this song reminds me. I um I didn't post the final like you gotta come to the show thing, and I want to see this place even more crowded. So I'll be right back. <laughs> following and if you just Google meat skeleton you do that right now. Oh you know what? That's not even one of the first things you see under me. <laughs> and it, this is not like a competition or anything, but I realized um, as I was promoting, I don't have so much money so I go to Best Buy and um, put Versal Stratego and all the Google searches and maybe someone will know when my next show is. But check this out. I'm writing Herschel down. Okay, that's Herschel. First one under Herschel, guess who it is? Yes. But then I'm the second most popular Herschel. There are other Herschels in Richmond, so they can beat it. Secondly, uh, okay, I'm below Herschel Walker and just above Herschel Walker Workout, whoever that is. <laughs> no one's heard of him. Anyway, uh, let's look up meat skeleton in the Urban Dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't mind me. <laughs> I spelled dictionary incorrectly. <laughs> So I'm used to looking for other things on the internet. Um, all right, so here's the Urban Dictionary. Meat skeleton, here we go. And I've got actually the best definition in this whole dictionary. Which is actually in a book. Come on. The camel's Wi-Fi is a lie. All the cars are up. <laughs> well, anyway, it ain't pretty. Let's look at mine. Oh, wait. <laughs> Meet Skelton, all country pop singer songwriter, born April 8, 1979. Is that true so far? Uh, Meet Skelton is a native of Richmond, Virginia, who started writing and composing music at an early age, known in school as a standout and outcast. He <laughs> his quirky personality to invent such songs as. They called me po oh, they called me Porker and Nicole in the Irony, which is my favorite Meat Skelton song. A song he wrote for actress Nicole Kidman. Meat Skelton is also known for his frequent battle with weight and appears heavy and then thinner in most publicity photos. The youngest of five children, his parents were amazed when at the age of three years old he began playing the piano and singing. Meat's mother died when he was 11 years old. He grew up in Gladwell County, Virginia, and then at 18 moved to Richmond his mother's hometown where he became involved with the music scene. Meat is also known to have an affinity for Krispy Kreme donuts. He's also a Southern Baptist. <laughs> Let's look up personal strategia. <laughs>
Um, anyway, I, I went to a tea party a few weeks ago. Um, and I, I mean, I, I got a Facebook invite, so I went. I actually go when I click a attending. <laughs> Unlike, oh, where's that cup? Oh, no, Paul, you're here, thank you. <laughs> oh, Richard uh, Bollinger, you're not here, are you? No, I'm going to take Roland next time. <laughs> no participation points. Anyway, I went to this tea party, thought it would be really nice. I like, I'm a big tea guy, you know. I'm into Jasmine, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, my friend uh, went to this tea party with me, but it was cool because he's white. And so we went there, and then, um, and there were, there were like all these racist signs, and I just couldn't stand it. So then we went uh, to like, I don't know, like, I thought tea parties were supposed to be polite, and all these people come in yelling, no one's drinking tea. <laughs> so I wanted to escape all that. Um, I went down to the um, Diamond, and I thought I'd be safe from racism there, but that team is as racist as can be. <laughs> Have you noticed? Um, I haven't ever seen a flying squirrel in Richmond the entire time I've lived here. Besides, for just one time, I was in my friend's living room, and seriously, we were watching the Discovery Channel, and there was a, a flying squirrel on that. But it wasn't in Richmond, I don't think. So why would they go out of their way to have a team called the Richmond, Virginia Flying Squirrels? Oh, I know, so we can name our mascot Nazi, Nazi right? And so they have like this fascist agenda, maybe, you know? They're not politicians, so they probably mean, well, they're just, you know, it's a small business, so it's probably a good thing. Um, it's a really small business. <laughs> um, anyway, so um, I went there and it was really scary. Everyone's gung-ho. It was like the second game ever and everyone already loved him. And Hitler was a huge hit. That's, you know, part of his name. You can't spell Hitler without hit. Big local hit. Austria coming to Austria, taking it all. You know, everyone loves him wherever he goes, just like the flying squirrels. And, um, it's just something I noticed, and I found it unfair and terrible that, you know, they don't have a single white player besides for a guy in the outfield. They have one non-white player. Um, that's true. But, <laughs> I'm like everything else I've said, no, it's all true. But, um, yeah, so, um, look, think about the colors of the team. You know the colors? I know! <laughs> it might be a coincidence, I don't know. Uh, anyway. So th this one goes out to that guy in the outfield, and they probably just gave him like a stereotypical black guy name or something. Like Martin Lawrence or Sidney Poitier. <laughs> Leave my black friend alone. Leave my 
Go, go. 
ago, the mall girl, but now. <laughs> and they're like, uh, and they're like, they get hungry, right? So they like to like eat pretty fish, you know? Uh, Nor have I seen the stars. Take me to your hungry friend, please. Well, like. Go, go, re repeated or replied. Uh, um, Tom is looking for a pretty fish, so uh, I like, you know, keep looking. No offense. Uh, plus, you know, if you were a pretty fish, he would eat you. I mean, you'd get to see the moon and stars, but he would, like, totally eat you. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, so don't feel so bad about it, alright? Now, uh, you know, I need to find a pretty fish. Fina swam home, and her parents knew something was wrong. <laughs> yeah, okay, just making sure she's sad. Gotta balance out the, you know. Uh, Fina swam home, the uh, parents knew something was wrong. Uh, Are you okay, honey bun? Asked her mom. Like, oh wait, no, wrong character. I'm not pretty, and I'll never see the moon nor the stars. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry for the drawings, but Puccinelli did this too. <laughs> You don't believe me? Just look at the wall decor. <laughs> Good, said her father. We're ugly fish, and we deserve to be down here. We don't need to be swimming around the dangerous bright waters. This is where we belong. Fina swam to her room and cried herself to sleep. Oh yeah, fish was back. Fish reunion and in summertime. Two reasons to stay hydrated. <laughs> uh, you know, because that uh, that stuff that they have there dehydrates you. Uh, they don't smoke too much. Um, uh, uh, she awoke the next morning and was still upset. Angry at her parents, angry at that worm, angry at herself. She wasn't pretty. She just didn't care anymore. Fina was going to swim in the dangerous bright water. Meanwhile, Toto, the hungry cat, explained this situation. Hey! Go go! It's trying to get me a pretty fish today. Yeah, I mean I'm feeling lucky. Go go! The worm agreed. Yeah, like maybe we'll get one today. You know? <laughs> Toto noticed something different. <laughs> hey, look over there! <laughs> I see a real pretty fish. I like. I'll go get it. You know? It's totally cool. Go go! Approach the pretty fish. <laughs> like, okay, allow me to introduce myself first of all. Uh, my name is, oh, I know your name is Gogo. -Go. You're a worm looking for a pretty fish, right? For your hungry cat friend. Gogo -Go was so surprised. Fina, like, is that you? Oh my god, your hair looks so amazing in the light. <laughs> I can take you to my friend Toto. Like, he would love to eat you. But first, uh, he'll probably let you see the moon and the stars. Fina was so happy. And that night, she saw the moon and the stars. That's the end of that. <laughs> and here's the beginning of the song. I didn't introduce myself properly. I'm on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I used to go to mind school, but I'm still uncomfortable talking about it. <laughs> and um, this actually will explain everything about me. It's not a biographical tune, but uh, it goes out to this tall, handsome man up front. The guy I thought was black. <laughs>
another message for the kids, apart from that story. Get me 
pissed. <laughs> I forget this poet's name, by the way. It's J something. Violet J. Oh! <laughs> Not, okay, I thought it was like JJ coming. Solar eclipse and vicious weather. 85,000 jugglers together. <laughs> I don't know why like, the original says jugglers. What's a juggler? <laughs> it says jugglers. <laughs> and I love my mom for giving me this time on this planet, take nothing for granted. I seen a caterpillar turn into a butterfly. Shaggy's little boy looks just like Shaggy And my little boy I hope will look like Daddy <laughs> And nobody has to stay where they put You don't even have to read a book <laughs> <laughs> This world is yours to explore There's nothing but miracles beyond your door This fine creation and enjoy it with better appreciation. Are you a believer in miracles? Do you notice and recognize the miracles? Magic everywhere in this bitch. So many miracles, the magic miracles. Thank <laughs> you. 
Fabrizio and W.R. Draper.